so glad to see you back here on First Kids Online. Uh, if this is your first time with us, please hit the subscribe button so that you can get updates on future videos. Well, today is an exciting day. We are talking about caterpillars and flutterbys, I mean butterflies. And why are we talking about them? Because of the amazing transformation that caterpillars go through to become the beautiful butterflies that are flapping around in nature. Well, boys and girls, check out this What's Up video as we learn more about transformation. What's up? Oh yeah! What's up everybody? It's me! It's the SKI to the double T L A S. Skittles in the hizzy, and I'm ready to get busy telling you what's up. Today, we're talking about the caterpillar and the butterfly. It's a lesson about being transformed. So every time somebody asks you, what's up? You tell them. Get off the floor and learn to soar. Little caterpillars, they start out by crawling along the ground. They get all dirty and gross. Pee you, you little caterpillar. You need to go take a shower or something. You stinky. But then they get inside that little cocoon and God turns them into something amazing. A beautiful butterfly that can fly through the air. Okay, Mr. Butterfly, fly, be free. Ah, ooh, yeah. You know, God created you to do great things. Sin, it tries to keep you crawling along the floor of life. But God wants to help you soar to new heights in him by transforming you into a brand new person. Uh-oh. No, man, I don't mean a different body. I mean God changes you on the inside. He takes your sin and wipes it away. And then he helps you to think, act, and be totally different. It's a transformation that is awesome, baby. So anytime, I mean anytime somebody asks you what's up, you tell them. Get off the floor and learn to soar. And that is what's up. I got a rainbow of flavor and I'm living for my savior. Skittles is out, baby. Hey everybody, my name is Mo, Mo Skeeto, and I've been working really hard on my new virtual reality video game called Splat. Last couple days, I've been fixing problems here and there, getting ready for the game to be released. One problem had to do with the bug containers. They were originally made out of glass. Gotta catch them all, entirely. Well, I sorted that out. I feel good about today's adventure. I even feel like today might be the day we find the bed bug. Mm. Yes, the bed bug. As you know, ever since I was a little kid, I've been obsessed with finding the bed bug. Where could they be? Mm. I've got an idea. Let's go to my room. Everywhere. The closet, the dresser, the window, the nightstand, behind the mirror. Where could these bed bugs be? I still feel like there's one place I haven't looked. Oh well. Today, I've got to return some library books from when I was seven. The problem is I have a $482 fine on them, so someone please buy my game. But I have a good feeling about today. Wait! Ooh, been holding that one in all day. Wait a second, I think I see something in there in the bushes. 
could be some bugs. You know what that means. Got to put on my goggles and got to catch them all entirely. entirely. I feel good about those tosses. Let's see what we got. Huh, a library book. Let's see whose it is. M. Skeeto. I hope he finds it so he can return his book. Let's see about this one. A water balloon. Nice, but I don't have time for this right now. Let's see what we have in this one. Oh, it looks like we might have caught something. Let me check my bug guide. Hmm, it's a pumplopod. No. Oh, this is a caterpillar. I was close. You know, caterpillars are awesome. They start off as these little guys walking around eating leaves on their bellies, and then all of a sudden, they turn into a butterfly. As Christians, we go through a transformation too, or a complete change. When we repent and ask Jesus into our lives, we're transformed. The old life is ended and the new one is born. The Bible says, when we ask Christ into our lives, we're completely transformed. The old life is ended and the new one's begun. Well, there's another example of a little bug teaching a big lesson. One last fact about the caterpillar, they say they taste exactly like peaches. I bet this little fuzzy guy's delicious. <coughs> no, no, I was wrong again. I may have gotten that fact wrong, Ugh. but I do know this. Today in your lesson, you're gonna learn all about being transformed by Jesus. It's gonna be amazing. Until next time, Gotta catch them all in time. Yo, everybody, what's up? Hello class, my name is Professor Buzzby McFly, and I am a bugologist, which means I study insects every day to determine what valuable lessons they might give us in order for us to become better Christians. Today's bug is a two-for-one special, the caterpillar and the butterfly. Why? Because it's the same insect. What happens is, the caterpillar spins a silky cocoon around its body, waits for a few days, and then all of a sudden, a butterfly comes out. That is known as Menonophilus, Metaphorphilus, Morkinmindy, Mopilophilus. One of those is correct. I think. Probably. I don't know. But what I do know is that the caterpillar and the butterfly remind me of today's power verse, which is... Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Bazinga! That power verse was amazing. Now what I need is for all the girls to stand to their feet and say the power verse on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Excellent job, girls. You may be seated. Now all the boys, stand to your feet and say the power verse on the count of three. One, two, three. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. What a transformative power verse. You may be seated. Now, just like the caterpillar transforms into a butterfly, when we accept Jesus into our hearts, we become transformed. We live a new life in him. Now, I need everyone to stand to their feet and say the power verse on the count of three. One, two, three. 
Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Excellent job, everyone. You may be seated. Well, that's it for me. I'm back off to the lab to study another bug. Well, I'll be reading books like a bookworm and searching for articles on the World Wide Spider Web. Until next time, this is Professor Buzz B. McFly. Bye! Yo, everybody! What's up? Well, I hope you enjoyed our video lesson today here on First Kids Online. Please come back and join us again. We'll be having videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Um, so again, thank you so much, and we will see you again next time. <laughs>
everybody. What's up?